How's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more Need for Speed Unbound. Today I'm going to be showing off these four builds that you can use for the Grand. I've got an A build, an A plus, an S, and an S plus build. And these are going to make the Grand super easy, so we're just going to hop right into it. So to start the list off, you can see I've got an A class R34 build. This build has a really good takeoff because it's all wheel drive and I put a root supercharger on it. So you get instant torque and instant takeoff. And because it's 100% grip, the second you take a corner and take off, you gain all your speed back and you recover from the drifts really easily. Now I'm going to put up some gameplay so you can see this car in action and we'll move on to the next car. Now moving on to the A plus car, you can see I have the Evo 9. This is an all wheel drive car and I put a single turbo on it. So the single turbo gives you high end power and because it's all wheel drive, you get instant torque. So it's pretty much the best of both worlds, instant torque and high end power. But you can see on the right, I've got 65% grip. So you're able to take the corners with a little bit of drifting and I've got road tires on it. So you get extra grip, but I'm gonna go ahead and put up some gameplay so you guys can see this build in action. All right, everyone, so for S-Class, I've got the old 71 GTR, and I've seen people do different builds for this car. I've seen a lot of people supercharge it, but honestly, with this dual turbocharger setup, this thing is an absolute beast. For the longest time I was doing the Grand, I was using the old GTI. Even after they nerfed it, it was still pretty effective, especially in the Grand. But once this car gets going, it gets going. Now, I did make a couple mistakes in this race, but you can see I gained distance on these NPCs so quick. And even outside of the Grand, this thing could probably be used online, so I'll have to test that out eventually. And for the final build, this is my S Plus SVJ Roadster. Now, I kind of switch between this car, the Bugatti, and the Regera, but ultimately, I just love how this car looks and the way that it handles as well is really nice. You can see I've got 80% grip on this thing, so taking corners is nothing. Every part on it is elite, except for the gearbox, that's pro. And as far as handling, everything is dead center, so you don't really have to worry about any of that. But like I said, I prefer this car out of all three just because of the customization, the way that it looks, the way that it handles as well. But I'll be honest, in my personal opinion, I feel like with this final race, because it's S Plus and there's no performance limitations, you should just mess around with different builds and use whatever car you want. And ultimately, at the end of the day, these are just my personal builds. If you guys have any other builds, let me know in the comments below because I definitely like to try them out for sure. But really quickly, I just wanted to thank everyone because I'm at 200 subscribers now, which is such a big number. So I'm gonna keep on dropping these videos for you guys. So make sure to join the Discord below and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.